Jaya, Jaya, Kundalini Jaya. Let's raise Kundalini, let's raise vibration, frequencies, let's bring in some more freedom. The topic for this video is how to protect yourself from toxicity. I could call that video also how to protect yourself from toxic people. Do you have any toxic people in your life? Anything, anybody who comes into your system and systematically puts you down, brings you down. This is called, you know, creating healthy boundaries in your system. Imagine that you're a mother, you have three children, you're struggling the whole day to make a living, you go to work, you come back, and when you come back home, suddenly you have this friend showing up at your door, entering into your space and then unloading her shit in your space with your kids around. And guess what's gonna happen? It brings you down. You don't have the love. You don't have the availability for your children. It basically steals energy from you. It's like an energy vampire coming into your space and then wiping you out from the little energy that you have left after a hard day. And who is winning out of this? Check that for yourself. Are you being compassionate with that person because you're allowing them into your system? Or are you lacking intelligence or the power to cut that person out of your system and protect your family? Because think about it. What's the impact on your children? What's the impact on your personal space? You know, some years back, I was teaching a workshop to about 50 women, right? And there was one person in this whole circle who was expressing lots of toxicity. And so this toxicity was impacting on the whole field of 50 people. Me as a leader, what's my responsibility to allow this to happen and hold space just for that person instead of focusing on the, the greater good of the tribe, you know, or to ask that person to simply leave the space and then spend some time one-on-one -on -one after with that person, you know, feel some compassion. That's great. You know, express some compassion for this person. If they need help, there is nothing wrong with that. But, you know, sometimes, what's the purpose of a virus? A virus just goes in circles being a virus, you know, and uh, some people are trapped into toxicity mode. It's, it's hard for them to get out of it. So you can allow that toxicity into your space, you know, and then uh, try to get rid of whatever energy left over is there, or you can just stop the toxicity before it comes into your field. And so, you know, it's something that I want you to consider and check for yourself. Sometimes you have to make hard calls in your life and having very flexible and very movable boundaries in your field sometimes doesn't serve you. Sometimes you have to make hard calls. If you have a business and you have one person, you know, you have a team of 20 people and it's enough to have one person who is toxic to poison the total energy in your office. So what is the hard call is to take that, tell that person to go and find a job somewhere else because the greater good is being threatened by that person's toxicity. And if you look at your life, right, as one person, as one person, as one being, you know, you, you are a system, you're like a business, you are an energy reality, you allow this toxicity to come in, it impacts on your field and eventually puts you down, maybe it stops you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. So it's time to be smart and time to take back control over your life. You have the right to say, no, no, thank you. I don't have time to deal with this right now. I don't have time for you right now. I don't have time for this toxicity to come into my field because it's my life and I set up the rules in my existence, you know. It's like, it's a hard call, right? You think that by being selfish, by thinking about yourself first, by thinking about what your needs are first, that you're going to betray that person's needs. What? No, what? No, no, you have to take control of your life. It is your right. It is your right for self-determination. Your personal space was given to you. This is your body, you know? What do you think will work best? If you have some toxic food and some healthy food, right? You take the toxic food and you eat that toxic food. And it's all over your system. Then you have to find ways of detoxifying your system. It's really hard work. The easiest step is not to allow this toxic food in your, in your mouth in the first place. It's not to buy into it in the first place. Get it out of your system. Don't allow it in your system in the first place. So I'm very passionate about this topic because you know, you can save yourself lots of pain and trouble by simply putting very clear and stronger boundaries. And you know, again, it's fine to love everybody, it's fine to be compassionate, but who is going to win if your whole system goes down? 
you know if you spend an hour with somebody who really pumps down your energy who really sucks life force out of you and after an hour you go like oh my god that was exhausting you know who is winning out of that what's what's stopping you from being in a positive state of mind all the time imagine that you that you are you know on social media it's a, it's a good example as well right you're posting lots of positive stuff you you know people are commenting everybody's being really happy and then there is just one troll in the conversation somebody who arrives there and says i'm gonna fuck it up just for the sake of it you know i'm just going to to unload my frustration and my 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 toxicity on on this because i have an opportunity to do so and so they start posting stuff which is ugly feels bad it's it's ongoing ongoing toxicity and uh, if you check online you will notice that some people are are good at this it's just their job it's what they signed up for and you don't have to give in into it you know for instance your wall you know your, your facebook wall that's your wall that's your identity you're allowed to say to some people don't post here delete comments delete what you have to delete it's your wall you own it this is why facebook gives you the power to cut people off to block some people when they are being toxic in your field so if you don't use that power you know that power of control which is the power to own your space own your life own your thoughts your mind your energy body then if you don't take that power that power leaves you it goes away it means that other people come into your field and start controlling different aspects of your life so it's a hard call okay what i'm telling you here is to wake up and take back take back control and realize that you are in charge of your life you are the one who decides what comes in and what doesn't you have a key you can lock your door you have the right to do so and um yeah so i encourage you to check it out check for yourself right now is there a place where your boundaries are way too flexible that you allow toxicity to come in in what form where who where where does this toxicity come from is it coming from a supermarket from some people in your life from some situations that don't serve you you know it's okay you can go like you know what that toxicity i'm gonna cut it off i'm going to cut it off i'm going to separate myself put a wall or limit of separation between me and this toxicity you're allowed to do that this is called your controlling power and it was given to you as a birth right okay you're allowed to use it this is my blessing to you to your power, to your magnificence. I see you soon. I love you.